hello everyone and welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a back to school slash college haul i already have a few videos that are exactly like this on my channel but i did a poll on my instagram and everyone said they wanted to see this video so here i am making it so i'm going to be showing you all some school supplies clothes stuff for my room and random other things that are slightly related to back to school that i picked up over the last week or so i got all of these things with gift cards that i got for my birthday and i also got some of these things as gifts for my birthday for those of you that don't know i turned 21 on wednesday i know that i look really young but i'm actually 21 and i'm starting my third year of college on tuesday so shout out to everyone that got something for me in this haul since i'm going into my third year of college i already have a lot of the basic essentials so i'm also going to be mentioning a few things that i already have that i would suggest getting if you're going to college for the first time this year so now that that's out of the way let's get into the haul i'm going to start off with the school supplies because this is a back to school haul so the first thing that i have is some reinforced college ruled paper from target this is pretty much the same as the five star one and it's a lot cheaper so i'd suggest getting this if you have a target near you the next thing that i got also from target is some sharpies i bought a pack of these last year but they somehow just Period. So I picked up another pack for the school year because Sharpies are always an essential. The next thing that I got are these erasable pens. I got these from Amazon and these are the Pilot Free Axion pens. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but I'll link these down below if you want to check them out. These are the best erasable pens that I've ever found. The pigment is a little bit lighter than regular black pens, but they write really smoothly and erase really well. And I use these to take notes in class and write pretty much everything else. The only time that I don't use these is when I have to use Scantrons for exams. Those are all the school supplies that I bought for this year because I already have a bunch of school supplies left over from last semester, but I do want to mention two other things that I would highly recommend getting. The first thing is this five star hybrid note binder. This still has stuff from last semester in it, but I really love this because it's really flexible it doesn't take up a lot of space and you can add your own paper and folders to it so if you're looking for a notebook or binder that's a little bit more low profile i would highly recommend getting one of these i think i got this at target but you can also probably get it at somewhere like staples or office depot and the last school supply thing that i would recommend getting is some sort of planner or calendar i've been using the bullet journal since my first semester of college and i absolutely love this it's just a really great way to keep track of things if you don't know what the bullet journal is i'll link one of my previous videos about it down below so definitely check this out if you're looking for something that's a little bit different from a traditional planner the next category that I'm going to go into is clothes. Most of the clothes that I got are more for the winter and fall because I really don't need any more t-shirts or short sleeve shirts in general. The first thing that I got is this black Levi's trucker jacket. I've wanted one of these for years now but I had a really hard time finding it in an extra small but I finally found one and I'm really excited to wear this in the fall and winter. I got the black so it'll go with pretty much anything and it still has a little bit of room so I can wear it with a hoodie or sweater so you're probably going to see me wearing this in a lot of future videos and Instagram posts. The next thing that I got are these two blue flannels from Unicorn. I know that these look pretty similar to each other, but I mostly got these to wear with my work uniform shirt. For those of you that don't know, I'm a student assistant at my university, and we have to wear these blue shirts with the AS logo on them, but it gets really cold in my office, so I'm planning on wearing these over the shirt. Stay warm and have a nice layered look. For those of you that are pretty small like me, it can be really hard to find flannels that aren't huge, but the Uniqlo ones go down to an extra small. So definitely check these out. I'm pretty sure that these were less than $30 each. The last two clothing items that I got were from my school's bookstore. Because they were having a sale, I had a birthday coupon, and we're allowed to wear SJC apparel to work on Thursday. So the first shirt that I got is just a basic champion long sleeve shirt with the SJC logo on it And then it says ghost Barnes on the sleeve I really like long sleeve shirts because I tend to get pretty cold So I'm excited to wear this when it gets a little bit cooler out The next shirt that I got is also a long sleeve shirt And this is actually from the kids section It's a size 14 to 16 But it honestly fits me better than the adult small And it was a lot cheaper So it's just a nice navy color And it has a Spartan head logo on the pocket And this on the back The material of this is really soft And I really like the design The next category that I'm going to go into is snacks and things to store food in The first things that I have are these sachet bags. I actually got these for my birthday and I already had two of these that I bought myself but I'm really glad that I got more because I'm a really big fan of these and they're reusable and they work really well for holding snacks. I usually buy these on Amazon but they are in some Target stores now so definitely check these out if you're looking for a more eco-friendly plastic bag alternative. The next thing that I got from Target are these Rubbermaid Brilliance leak-proof BPA-free containers. I bought one of these earlier this year and I absolutely love it. It doesn't leak at all. I even tried putting water in it and shaking it and it didn't leak. So check these out if you're looking for a leak-proof container. I do prefer to use glass containers but I haven't been able to find any that are leak-proof. And I walk through miles just for my commute. I'm not going to be holding containers like this for the entire walk. So I really need containers that are leak-proof and allow me to bring my snacks and lunch to work or school. And these really do the job. This isn't sponsored. I just genuinely really love these. The next thing is something that I've had for a while and that I think I mentioned in my back to school haul last year and that is this lunch bag. It's made out of the same material as wetsuits and it really helps keep food cold. I don't remember where I bought this from but it's from the brand Built New York and if I can find it online I'll put a link to it down below. The last things that I have in this category are some snacks that I got for my birthday. First I have some Cliff Bars. These are the chocolate chip ones and these are the peanut butter ones. These are two of my favorite flavors. I also really like the white chocolate macadamia nut ones and the mint ones but those are kind of hard to find so these are my favorite easily accessible ones. They taste really good and they're just a good snack to have in your backpack just in case you get hungry in the middle of class. I also 
also got these kind bars for my birthday. They're in the flavor Thai sweet chili, and these are probably my favorite bars of all time. They have a really good strong flavor, and they're not sweet or anything, and they're kind of spicy in a good way, and they have a lot of flavor. So definitely check these out if you're looking for a bar that isn't sweet. I do like the cliff bars, but sometimes I want something a little bit more savory. The final category is the category that I'm most excited for, and that is stuff for my room. There's a lot of white space in my room, so I got some tapestries from Society6, but before I get into these, I want to show one last thing, and that is these command strips. I don't know why I forgot to mention these in my what to get for college video, but these are probably the number one essential if you're living in a dorm or renting a place because these let you hang things on walls without damaging them. But now I'm going to open this package. I haven't actually opened it yet because I just got it a few days ago, but Anisha and Henry helped me pick these out, so shout out to them. I think these are going to look really good on my wall. Hopefully they're the right size. So these are the tapestries. This one is a mandala design, and this one is a galaxy design, and they're both in a size small. These aren't gonna fit in the frame, so I'll insert some clips of them on my wall after I hang them up right here. So this is what the galaxy one looks like. It's just right above my bed. And this is what the mandala one looks like. It's just right above my desk. If you wanna see more of a complete tour of my room, comment down below but I'm absolutely in love with both of these tapestries. So that was my back to school haul for the 2018-2019 school year. Let me know what your favorite thing was down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.